What do you enjoy the most uh, being an entrepreneur? And how would you tell people, okay, look guys, you, you, you should start uh, uh, and launch your business? Well, you know, the part I love is, is how creative it is. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because you have these moments where you have a real serious, like something you really need to figure out. And it could be um, product direction. It could be a UX, a user experience thing. It could, just whatever that, that challenge is. And you have to sort of dig really deep within yourself and, and, and have that kind of spark and, and that creativity. And I, I think I really like that it, it you know, it makes me feel like a, a, a smart, creative person when, I, when, I, when I'm working on this. Um, yeah. Because I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do is like, it's almost like, you know, it's not work in the sense, it doesn't, first of all, it's not work in the sense that it's like drudgery or something hard. It's the challenge is just how do you, you know, how can you be creative? How can you challenge yourself to be like, you know, to be more innovative or, or to have that, that flash of light, that inspiration mm -hmm. um, on a regular basis? And it's hard. And, and sometimes you have to really, you know, get kind of, kind of, you know, kind of low and kind of face the, the challenges that, you know, I mean, there are points, I mean, I remember with Engadget about three months in, just having this, like, just waking up one morning and being like, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, <laughs> I, I don't, I, I, what did I get myself into? And I had crossed the Rubicon, so to speak. Like, I couldn't quit. I couldn't stop um, because I'd put so much on the line and I'd left Gizmodo and I, I, it was such like a public thing. Again, talking about, you know, obscurity. Mm -hmm. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't stop, right? And, um, and I was really, like, just burnt out already after work. I was working, like, 100 hours a week wow. for three months. I didn't take a vacation for five years. Um, so, uh, so, you know, it's like that you have to be prepared to make those sacrifices. And you have to be, you know, prepared to, like, go to some dark places, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But I think that, you know, for me, you know, those challenges are what, you know, kind of like that, you know, like getting, you know, seeing those difficult, you know, in if, if facing those difficult challenges are kind of what, um, you know, ends up kind of inspiring you to, mm -hmm. to be creative. You know what I mean? It's like, yep. you can't have the highs without the lows, I think. And so, uh, uh, you know, kind of, you know, would obviously love it if everything was just a cakewalk and, you know, someone is going to go and buy our company for a hundred million dollars tomorrow. But, um, but, you know, I think that it's forcing yourself to like work really hard and, and, mm -hmm. and be and creative and, and, and do great work is, you know, there's something really satisfying at the end of the day. That's cool. That's, that's what I love about it.